so happy to be in Ghana. I've wanted to come here for so long and I finally made it. I'm at this gorgeous hotel. I love my room. Right now I'm heading down to dinner. It's from 6 to 10.30. This place is so beautiful. Oh, it's already here. Which would? I am wearing my favorite pants. What a better place to wear them. Look. Y'all have seen these pants so many times. I'm obsessed. So I had a word in Ghana, of course. I liked everything I ate at Move and Pick. They had a buffet for dinner with lots of options. I always tried to get a little bit of everything so that I could try as much as possible. The desserts were really good. They seemed like desserts from other parts of the world, not necessarily Ghanaian desserts. But when it came down to the food served at dinner, there were more Ghanaian dishes than anything else. The, no, it's the same fabric, uh -huh. but when it's you cut it, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, it's a different part of the it's, fabric. Yes, okay, I get it.
I'm of a writing man.
I had so much fun at the market. I bought some clothes that I wanted to wear while in Ghana and in Zanzibar, so I needed to get them washed. I didn't want to use the laundry service provided by the hotel because it's pretty expensive and I had lots of pieces to wash. So my driver, who was so awesome, helped me find a laundry place. I also needed to buy a SIM card to use while I was there because I didn't have internet unless I was at the hotel. I was able to do everything I wanted that day because I booked the car for the entire day. I initially only booked it for two hours but while I was in the market I called the hotel and asked them to book it for the day instead because I was already running out of time. When you book for the day you get the car for 12 hours with a driver. I'm not sure if you can pick your driver but if you ever stay at Move and Pick and book a car then I definitely recommend requesting Solomon as your driver because he is truly awesome. So far I had only eaten at the hotel so I wanted to go somewhere else to eat since I had the car for a few more hours, I decided to go back to the hotel to shower and get dressed and then head back out. I asked Solomon to recommend a good place to eat because I did not have time to search for a place to read the reviews. I didn't want to waste any time with the car because the time did not stop just because I was back at the hotel. So if I had to search for a place to eat, then I would have been rushing <laughs> and I knew that he would know a good place since he lives there. It's pancake and rice bowl. Okay. Jollof rice. Mm -hmm. Plain rice. Okay. Fried plantain and wachi. Grilled tilapia. What is this one? Grilled tilapia. Okay. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Spinach soup. One of them. Everyone. Beef sauce. What is it? Beef sauce. Okay. Tomato sauce. Red red beans. Those with the fried plants. Okay. Spinach stew. Okay. And have sauce. Fries. Spaghetti balls. That one is empty. Oh. Okay. Boys, granting. Boys, yum. Okay. Gary photo. Upper press. Okay. Okay, thank you. And we have the food. Okay. We have fried latte here, right? You want to go to
so in love with this hotel I just ate breakfast and right outside the restaurant area there's the pool over there and then there's this beautiful garden let's see what they have I don't want to walk on the grass, but you see the sweet basil over here. already seen three different types of basils. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can see it, but that's chocolate mint. What that says. Spicy basil. So this is the fourth type of basil I've seen so far. Oh my gosh, here's another one. Sweet basil. <laughs> Spicy sweet. So this is the fifth basil. Okay, regular basil. Oh my goodness, cinnamon basil. This is the sixth uh, basil I've seen. Let me go on the other side. Oh my gosh, lemon. Did we see lemon already? Was lemon on the other side? I don't know, but this is like maybe the seventh type of basil. I think we've seen chocolate mint so far. So now we have regular mint and we have spearmint right here. Butter lettuce, never heard of that. That's cool. They, I think they kind of work out. Oh, this is so nice. I haven't been to the pool even one time. Special delivery. Got my clothes and this as well. Everything was 142 CDs because I had it express. Uh, I had it yesterday. I went in yesterday, got it delivered today. So it's two times the price, which is still affordable. And then a 40 CDs extra for delivery is based on how far you are.
direction. To our left is the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. We will just go around and enter. And like I was saying, Kwame Nkrumah became our first Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. Because when we gained independence in 1957, we were not yet a republic. We were still under the British rule, under the Queen. Mm -hmm. It was in 1960 that we became a republic. And that was when Kwame Nkrumah became the president of the independent Ghana. Now, the name is Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame means a male child born on a Saturday. In Ghana, we use day names a lot. I know mine. Mine is Yah. Yeah. <laughs> you are Yah. Yeah. I was born on Thursday. Thursday. I was born on Thursday also. Oh, Thursday. we're both Yah. Wow. Yah <laughs> is a very proud day name in Ghana because one of the women who stood up Mm -hmm. The British rule was called Ya Asantiwa. Okay. She fought the British, a warrior. She was exiled by the British to the Seychelles Island. Unfortunately, she never came back home alive. Okay. Ya Asantiwa. So you are a queen. Oh. <laughs> We have the Freedom Wall, the Audiovisual Gallery Room, the Museum and the Mausoleum. And the final part is where he stood on the 6th of March 1957 to declare the Independence Day. But before we start with the tour, I'll give you a brief history about Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Then we'll start with the tour. These are traditional home blowers. They were announcing the death of Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And also home blowers, they don't kneel down. They kneel down to show respect to him. So talking about the unity, he started with his own people here in Ghana. The one playing the drum over there is from the northern south of Ghana. And the one playing the guitar over there is from the eastern south of Ghana. He so said when we come together and unite as a country to achieve our goals and purposes here. was designed by a Ghanaian architect. His name is Dr. Don Akta. He designed it in the form of a tree and also it's in the form of a stage uh, sword. 
So you, uh, the second movement started very well. The struggle to gain independence, he became the president of Ghana. He he built the Akosombo Dam, the Adomir Bridge. He did a lot of things before they led the coup at him here in Ghana, 1966. But he didn't finish what he wanted to achieve before they led the coup, as in uniting all Afghan countries together. So you can see it looks like uh, a building without a relationship or uncompleted building.